Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Understanding and controlling a bounce during landing is one of the required tailwheel subjects taught to pilots seeking a tailwheel endorsement. The bounce exemplifies a Newton law of motion. A mass in motion stays in motion. In a conventional gear airplane, the wheels are in front of the center of mass. During landing, the gear stops its vertical movement when it contacts the runway. But the mass behind the gear continues downward. The attitude of the fuselage and wing rotate upward. As a result, it is the same as if the pilot had pulled hard back on the elevator control. Recently, the FAA safety team, Safer Skies Through Education Program, offered the following explanation of the bounce and what a pilot should do about it. When the airplane contacts the ground with a sharp impact, it tends to bounce back into the air. The airplane does not bounce like a rubber ball. Instead, it rebounds into the air because the wing's angle of attack was abruptly increased, producing a sudden addition of lift. The corrective action for a bounce is the same as for ballooning. When the bounce is slight and there is no extreme change in the airplane's pitch attitude, a follow-up landing may be executed by applying power to cushion the next touchdown and smoothly adjusting the pitch to the correct landing attitude. When a bounce is severe, the safest procedure is to execute a go-around immediately. In this photo, the airplane is at the apex of a typical high bounce following a poorly executed landing. Note the attitude. It approximates the three-point landing attitude. The pilot did not pull when the airplane bounced. Instead, the pilot held the stick position. The pilot was patient allowing the airplane to expend excess energy. The pilot adds power if necessary. After passing through the apex of the bounce, the airplane settles into a stable, nose-high descending attitude. The pilot controls vertical speed with additional back pressure and power. The key point is, do not push the stick forward. Perhaps you would never do that, but you would be amazed at how many pilots do just that. If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, DylanAviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from Amazon.com. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.